after rumors began circling that the next big delay of 2021 would be for Battlefield 2042. We now have confirmation from EA that the game has indeed been delayed, and will still be launching in 2021, just on November 19, 2021 instead of this October. The news comes from a tweet put out from the official Battlefield 2042 Twitter account which includes a statement from Oscar Gabrielson on behalf of the Battlefield 2042 team, which wastes no time getting to the point by announcing the delay right at the top. The statement reads in part, We've made the decision to shift the launch of Battlefield 2042. The game will now be released worldwide on November 19, 2021. Yesterday marked a sad day in the world of comedy. Building the next generation of Battlefield during a global pandemic has created unforeseen challenges for our development teams. Given the scale and scope of the game, we had hoped our teams would be back in our studios together as we move towards launch. With the ongoing conditions not allowing that to happen safely, and with all the hard work the teams are doing from home, we feel it is important to take the extra time to deliver on the vision of Battlefield 2042 for our players. You can check out the full statement from the tweet for yourself, right here. As the statement cites, COVID-19 caused multiple problems for all studios around the industry, big and small, so this won't be the last COVID-related delay we see at least for another year, perhaps more. After a long nine-year battle with cancer, famed actor, writer, and comedian Norm MacDonald passed away at the age of 61. The comedian was well-known in the comedy world, but many don't know that he also played a big part in animated entertainment and is responsible for some of the most iconic characters in pop culture. What characters has McDonald voiced? The answer may shock you. If you've ever heard the comedian speak, then you know that McDonald had a unique, memorable voice. His smiling face and deadpan personality always stood out during his time as a comedian on Saturday Night Live. Likewise, his voice had a certain cadence to it that isn't easily copied. Pairing it with an animated or CGI character made McDonald's voice even more unique and helped make the character a funny addition to every show and film he appeared in. It didn't take long for McDonald to become one of the go-to voice actors for a vast array of characters over the last decade. Even if you don't remember him from his time at SNL, there's a good chance that you've heard him voice some of your favorite childhood and adult animated characters. Here are the characters he voiced over the course of his colorful career. Lucky the dog and Dr. Doolittle McDonald began his voiceover career as Lucky, the wise cracking dog from Eddie Murphy's Dr. Doolittle franchise in 1998. He would later return to reprise the role for Dr. Doolittle 2, 2001, Dr. Doolittle 3, 2006, Dr. Doolittle, Tale to the Chief, 2008, and Dr. Doolittle, Million Dollar Mutts, 2009. Death in Family Guy Anyone who followed the wacky and over-the-top comedy Family Guy remembers when death came to claim Peter Griffin's soul. The first actor to voice the hooded figure was none other than McDonald, and the role would later be taken over by fellow comedian and friend Adam Carolla. Norm the genie in The Fairly Odd Parents Most teenagers and young adults grew up on Nickelodeon's The Fairly Odd Parents. Whether they know it or not, McDonald had a small part to play in their childhood when he appeared as the trickster genie Norm, who tried to get rid of the show's protagonist, Timmy Turner, in the special, Fairy Idol. Skipper in Treasure Hounds McDonald lent his voice to the main protagonist, Skipper, in the direct-to-home video movie Treasure Hounds in 2017. Though it was a low-budget kids' film, it was McDonald's first leading role as a voiceover actor. Julius in The Flight Before Christmas released during the holiday season. The Flight Before Christmas is another children's film that focuses on a reindeer named Nico as he searches for his father in the hopes of joining Santa and helping him get ready for Christmas Eve. The film starred McDonald as sarcastic squirrel sidekick Julius, whose voice didn't match his small stature, making the character even funnier. Quint in The Outback McDonald was also featured in the South Korean CGI animated film The Outback as Quint the Peg Leg Wombat. The character was the mentor and leader of the main antagonist, Koala Kid, and the rest of their animal community. Pigeon in Mike Tyson Mysteries Back in 2014, former boxer Mike Tyson decided he wanted to make an adult animated cartoon. Thanks to Adult Swim, the Mike Tyson Mysteries was created, and McDonald was able to snag the role of one of the show's most popular characters, Pigeon a man cursed by a witch to live out his remaining days as a pigeon. Glumshanks in Skylanders Academy If you're a fan of the video game Spyro and the Skylanders Academy CGI animated series on Netflix, then you may be surprised to know that it was McDonald who played the role of Glumshanks in the main cast. King Leo in The Adventures of Panda Warrior McDonald may not have been approached to appear in the popular Kung Fu Panda franchise, but he was at least able to snag a role in its generic counterpart. 
The Adventures of Panda Warrior, as King Leo, the lion who trains the main character. Mogens in Klaus One of McDonald's most recent roles and one of the last before his death was that of Mogens, the sarcastic ferryman, in the Netflix holiday film Klaus. The CGI animated film A Reimagining of Santa Claus Origin would later be nominated for an Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. For someone who was rarely seen on screen for the better part of the last decade, McDonald sure had his fair share of roles as a voiceover actor. May his spirit live on through his many characters and his other creative endeavors. Rest in peace, good sir.